hello and welcome. In this video, we're going to be looking at the new improvements in the color panel. Now, I'm very excited about this. There is a handful of very significant uh, changes that make this increasingly better and better. All right, let's look at some of the basics first. At the top here, we have all of our tabs. You can turn the tabs on and off, our color wheel, our sliders, our recent colors, and our color sets. Let's look at these one at a time. This color wheel looks a little bit different. And no, I'm not a ghost. I'm just wearing a shirt that matches the green screen a little too close. Ooh. What's that? Fired? Let's look at the current color wheel choices. So here in the context menu in the top right corner, you can see color wheel. We have the option of circle, square. Or color set which is really cool and very useful the color set you can change click on color set here i have pigments selected from the color library let's bring this over and hide this and make this larger here we have different color sets here i have color sets that i've created from an image you can see as i pick different color sets metallics pencil and charcoal body colors pastels these are great. I have a few that I've created from a, a few images, images that I used as a reference. Now I have this color set right here, lemon. This one was created by going to color set, create color set from image file, and then 36 colors. I uploaded a reference image that I liked and uh, took the colors from that, uh, which is absolutely one of my favorite features. I love this. Let's go back to circle. Now we have different types. We have HSV, HSL, HS, LUV, RGB, and the new one here is RYB. Let's look at these. I'll show you a couple neat things. Okay, so here uh, RGB is red, green, blue. RYB is red, yellow, blue. Uh, the HSV is hue, saturation, and value. HSLUV stands for hue, saturation, and lightness. So it means it's perceptually uniform. This one is very unique. I'm going to show you something by pressing the keyboard shortcut G. Now notice here that the value stays the same or virtually the same the entire way across the color wheel. This means if you're painting, this means you can paint with any of the colors on the wheel and it will still read. You'll still have uh, the bright parts showing what things are forward, the dark areas showing what things are back, and you can pick colors from the entire wheel. That's awesome. Now the point of using a color wheel that has extra features is to make color picking easier. And one of the challenges that artists have had for many years when going from traditional over to digital painting is that we lose what we understood about color. In digital painting, when you mix red, green, blue, and you're mixing light instead of pigments, those blended colors tend to push towards grays. Now, when you're painting with pigments, when you start to blend those colors, they tend to mix towards browns. Now, this new red, yellow, blue color wheel respects that. When you have pigments turned on here in the layers panel, you see the option for pigments and you're using the new red, yellow, blue color wheel. This is going to behave more like traditional paint and you're going to start getting more of those browns when you're mixing in. They have a softer and more gradual transition through the secondary colors and make it easier to pick colors that you would get naturally by mixing pigment. Now you'll notice in my color wheel, that I have the actual pigment names. This is something that I geek out over all the time. Uh, I have, as a digital artist, for a long time been jealous of traditional painters when they refer to gold ochre or cadmium red deep or Prussian blue or cobalt turquoise. These different colors, I was not able to understand what they were. Uh, 
Um, and, and now when I'm talking with my traditional painting friends, I understand what colors they are and I can refer to colors uh, in real life by pigments, which is really cool instead of just saying, hey, that car is red. I can say uh, that's a nice matter lake deep red and have my friends look at me weird. But I'll know that that color was accurate. In order to see the names, if you don't see those by default, go to color set in the context menu, color set, show color names. This is not going to be a full tutorial for the color wheel. We're just going to go over uh, the majority of the new features. And then I want to show you a couple neat things that I really like about how color works in Rebel. We're going to hide the color set and turn on recent colors and color sliders. I'm going to set my sliders to hue, saturation, and value. And then we're going to keep the gradient option. You can also turn on hex, so you can use hex colors. This is, by the way, how nerdy digital artists communicate. Ooh, did you see that F80C00 car? It was beautiful. So we're going to turn on hue, saturation, and value. And in sliders, we have gradient. We're going to undo hex. And now look here. I can paint and I can use the gradient slider to very easily create a beautiful palette. Notice that these colors have shown up in our recent colors. In addition to the gradient slider, we have in the top right corner color harmony. There is mono, complementary. These are opposites on the color wheel. So these are going to provide a lot of contrast. You can see on the bottom right corner, you can see the two colors. This is very attention grabbing. We have triadic, which are three evenly spaced colors on the color wheel. This creates a more balanced color palette, analogous complementary. This one is very similar, except for you've got your complementary color from earlier, which is the one that's directly across from our primary color. And then we have tetradic. And this is two complementary colors on the color wheel, and they're spaced out evenly. So we have instead of our yellow and blue, This can make for some really beautiful, bold artwork. Okay, let's undo a lot of this. And let's look at just these colors right here. Now I'm going to click in the bottom left corner, Mix Color. What this is going to do is this is going to take from the color that we have on the screen. Notice that I have uh, orange selected. And we're in Tetradic. Now when I go to pick a color, let's say I want to Pick this red. As I tap, I'm going to get closer and closer to that color. It's not going to jump all the way, it's going to increment. I'm tapping twice. And this is a great way to get beautiful color harmony and balance in your artwork. Isn't that beautiful? The keyboard shortcut for this is X. And to adjust how much it jumps, we would go into Edit, Preferences, Color. And here, Mix Color, Sensitivity 10. If this is set all the way over here, you're going to have to click about 100 times to get the color to uh, mix over to the one you're clicking on. You're going to have to click a lot. So let's put it over to the left. And here, when it's over here, you have to click far, far less to get from the color that you are selecting from the color that you're on. All right, let's bring this back over to the side. And let's open up the mixing palette. You can do this with Control Shift M.
we're going to take some colors. We can do this from over in our recent colors. And we'll switch to blend. Notice how we're getting these nice brown colors where before we were getting grays. Now, as you work inside the mixing palette, if you do something that you don't intend to do, you can go up to the top and do undo and redo. When you select use shortcuts from properties panel, you can press one, which will paint, four, which will blend. You can also now save your palettes. Import a mixing palette remove or save changes. When you select color, then anytime you're up in your mixing palette and you tap, you'll pull color. Now you know how to use the mixing palette to create beautiful colors that you can easily reference without having them on your canvas. You know how to use color harmonies to pick more beautiful colors and balance to create more dynamic compositions. You've learned how to set your color wheel to your color set. The HSLUV color wheel to paint with multiple colors without disrupting your values. So you can make some of those really cool paintings where they have unique colors or skin and hair and it still reads. We've learned how to turn on show color names so you can see the pigment names and become more accustomed with them. We've learned how to increment the color using the gradient slider and the mix color option. If you have questions on the new properties in the color panel, please put those in the comment section. Thank you for watching. Until next time, stay creative and have a wonderful day.